Blade and Soul is probably a MMORPG title you guys are probably very familiar with. Either you guys have heard about it somewhere, or you have played it, or you have spent thousands of hours in uh, the Blade and Soul uh, title. And now they are planning a comeback. Yes, they tried to come back before with their own game, Blade and Soul, which was first launched in the East and then lost in, uh, launched in the West. That didn't perform that well. Uh, and then they tried with their mobile titles, such as Blade and Soul Revolution and blade and soul 2 which made a lot of money but also uh did not uh survive the test of time and now their final final thing hopefully the final thing they're trying it with blade and soul and neo classic and compared to the other things that i've talked about this one actually looks promising so let's jump into the video and see what Blade and Soul Neo Classic is all about. So Blade and Soul is a title uh, some people love and some people hate. Um, I really, really enjoy Blade and Soul uh, when I played it for its combat. I, th I thought the combat, one of the best combats I ever played and checked out was great, but there was so much lackluster content, end game content, pay to win. It was very overwhelming, especially for the Western audience and the game just didn't survive. It did better in the East, but uh, even the, uh, over there, uh, it is not uh, doing too good. So uh, a lot of people have been like talking about Blade and Soul here and there. Again, with the mobile titles, uh, it was a massive disappointment for many PC gamers. Uh, but now they have this Neo Classic server. And it's not going to be like every other classic MMO. They're not just going to release the game as it was at the start. They're actually going to work more actively active with this uh, classic neo server that's probably why they added neo next to the classic server so they're going to be working on it change some systems when it comes to the classic game uh, and they're going to try fix a lot of things that people complained about and we've seen a lot of information from a neo classic uh, there's no like certain date yet but that they, they know that this is their last chance in in reviving this title so they know this now or never so either you go in and make all the same mistakes that you made before try to be super pay to win lackluster content updates ruin a lot of good systems or you can actually listen to the feedback and try to actually change and make a good game or make a good classic server so i have a kind of a little bit of hopes for the server i uh, did my research of course uh talked around to people that still play blade and soul till this day uh looked around some reddit some research look at their uh, interviews and faqs on the new server and this is the news and info that we have so far so what they're doing is they're changing the equipment system it's going to be a little bit different it's going to go more of like the path of exo style of gearing uh, where you combine equipment that gives you different skills and stats uh so we're coming to gear, when it comes to gearing it's going to be very different and the classes you guys are probably asking yeah but how many classes can i play can i play the class that i played when i played blade and soul so what the information that we have even content wise storyline wise uh every uh, storyline and classes will go up to the last moon water update so uh when the moon water came out that's how much content that we will have in blade and soul uh and if everything that came after moon water will not be in the classic server for now it might get later but we don't know and they're changing how the game works they're going with a, a season system so you guys are probably like what season system like path of exile kind of like path of the exile but at the same time its own thing it's going to be like mmo updates but what they're going to do is they're going to divide the game into seasons where early season will be focused around exploration slow progression and then later in the season they're going to open ranking systems and reward systems and they will add new modes and then uh, at the end of the season uh, they will add new modes and they will also reset the system but the stuff that you accumulated you keep at the same time and they're doing a seasonal system because they want to have a balance between hardcore players casual players so both can enjoy the game there's a new game that's coming out Tardis Land is doing something similar and it's because they know and we know and I know is that the only way an MMR survives is through numbers. And the only way that you're going to have numbers is to uh, kind of help the casual player. Because yes, we love our hardcore players. I'm a hardcore MMO grinder. But I know that there's only a certain percentage of uh, MMO players that are hardcore. The people that make most of the population 
is casual player so trying to make it a little bit better for the casual player to enjoy the game now this is very important the pay to win because i know a lot of people are focused on, on the pay to win a pay to win was the reason one of the main reasons for why the soul failed in the west and is failing in the east and recently most of the games if not all mmos uh uh, their demise is usually that they become more and more pay to win and blade of soul let's be real uh, became extremely pay to win you could buy everything uh, everything from gear to other stuff you could just buy everything and now they've talked about how the pay to win a little about how the pay to win is going to be uh, in neo classic so they are saying that there will be no paywall stats now not them saying there's not going to be any paywall stat what does that mean does that mean hey guys you cannot buy the best gear or stats yourself directly from the item shop but you can pay to progress right so saying this is not very really like doesn't confirm anything you know like hey yeah you can't directly buy stats but you can probably buy stats through other means we don't know that's what they've said and we usually when developers and publishers say very little regarding the monetization you kind of have to read between the lines and be like there might be some kind of pay to win but what they have 100 percent confirmed is there's gonna be battle passes that you can buy but not really sure about the other stuff can you buy the in-game currency and then use that in the trade auction house and trading like you could in blade and soul or other games or are they going to change it up so they're very careful with the pay to win they haven't said too much so it'll be interesting to see where it goes but if they're trying to make a good game and trying to learn from the mistakes you kind of have to change most of the pay to win right and try to make it as free to play friendly as possible now when it comes to the content the pve so the dungeons in this game will be the old dungeons not much new stuff uh they're gonna be difficulties to each dungeon three difficulties i think and i think the easiest mode of dungeons for what they said can be soloable so if you're not playing with friends or party and you just want to enjoy yourself you can actually solo the easiest dungeon to get some gears to get some rewards uh and i do think that this is not a good idea uh because a lot of the stuff that i talked about earlier is blade and soul lacked content some fun hard dungeons they had this 24 man raids which will not be included by the way in the classic era, which i don't understand either and they're just gonna uh, reskin or just keep the same dungeons uh which i don't like at all so i think that's gonna be a little bit lackluster because getting back into the game you know of course it's the nostalgia of all dungeons are great but you kind of want to add some more content you know a little bit more depth a little more future so the pve seems like it's gonna be like mainly the same you see in most of them was just running through dungeons with difficult uh, different difficulties but nothing really new and unique so hopefully they do something with the dungeons later on when they release but this is what we know for now and there's gonna be a lot of focus on like exploration there's gonna be journals that tracks everything from world bosses exploration quests and like i said there's gonna be world bosses uh, and you can get rewards by participating for now that's how it's gonna work not like the person that could do most damage but just participating so again try to cater to like the casual friendly uh, player base which is good the pvp now the pvp was a really fun part of uh, blade and soul the combat is again like i mentioned one of my favorites uh so what we know about the pvp so far is uh there won't be hell island uh will not be in the classic uh, mmo but there's gonna be faction regions in the game it's gonna be arena so it's gonna be 6v6 uh and they want to make sure that the rewards you get from this will not widen the gap between players like it did in blade and soul like you can actually do pvp and grind pvp if you're not a pvp engineer you don't really have to do pvp uh but it's just a thing you can do to get a little bit of rewards here and there uh and then there's no changes in the combat which is good depending on uh which combat they're taking a look at early early blade and soul was good later on in blade and soul the combat did get tweaked a little bit but still good uh, and there's no auto combat which is great no auto combat in the classic server uh, no way to like simplify the game good stuff and then they update like the quality of the game uh like they show this like before and after thing so it's they're saying they're upgrading the terrain and the texture and stuff but it just looks like they up their vibrancy not gonna lie so what i do on my thumbnails too i just upgrade my vibrancy so i, I know what they're doing <laughs> uh 
So, uh, like I mentioned, they want to make sure, they said this themselves, they want to make sure the gap between the casual and the paid win player will not be become too big. So, uh, they're going to try, when it comes to the seasons, like I mentioned, through seasons, through rewards, through PvP, they want to make sure that the gap isn't too big so the casual players don't get demotivated when they get like destroyed by a hardcore grinder or maybe a pay to win right so they want to make sure that everybody can enjoy the game so that's why they're gonna try to make it casual friendly what do i think about it like as long as i can grind as much as one as a hardcore player i don't mind um, like the the gap doesn't have to be that big as long as there is a little bit gap for the hardcore grinder they can enjoy the game and then the casual player can come in and play uh depending on the seasons if the season's gonna be like big reset or they're gonna give like good gear at the end of the season it could be a good thing but we'll have to see basically how they actually do it uh, materials they're talking about materials how you obtain materials and everything can only be farmed uh, no way to sell materials so and they haven't talked much about the trading system yet so it seems like they're gonna try to find a way to decrease rmt um, and then the question is again right like i mentioned are you going to be able to buy the currency to use in trading? How will the trading work, right? So they haven't said much about the trading and the monetization. So very like unsure what's happening there, what's going on, right? Uh, and there's like not much we know about mounts either, crafting. What we do know is that some of the costumes, they're changing because they censored a lot of costumes and they made the costumes look bad but now they're changing that so you know for the people that want to make uh you know a hot character with some cool costumes you guys can probably do that now uh which you couldn't in your old blade and soul maybe you know uh will uh, help with the role playing aspect of the game you know you can role play as whoever you want and then my prediction uh, when it comes to the release date, since they haven't said much, they want to keep it under wraps uh, until they know more because they don't want to rush the game. If they give a release date, they might have to rush the classic and they know this is the last chance. So my prediction is quarter three, 2024. They have, they have a English website, which is great. They're uploading a lot of, on YouTube, which is great. They're doing a little bit of interviews here and there. So it seems like there's going to do, do, they said already there's going to be a testing phase too. So there's going to be a testing phase. And then they're going to release the game. So quarter three is my prediction. And the, the biggest thing, the coolest thing out of everything is the China classic server and the global, when I talk about global, I talk about everything from West to Korea, Japan, everything will be the same release. Yes, East won't be ahead of West. They're going to have the same release, which is great because I hate playing MMOs that have been out for months in the East or years in the East and then getting the play. So the launch will be at the same time for both games. So that is what we know so far about Blade and Soul Neo Classic. Overall, I do think they have uh, the potential to perform good and from the way they're talking because they know this is their last chance. Because like I mentioned, they tried everything else. They tried to revive their game. didn't work. They tried to make mobile versions. It didn't work. This They know that this is the last chance. So either they can actually listen to feedback uh, and make a good game. Or they can do what I predict they're going to do. is going to launch the game. It's going to be pay to win. They're going to increase the pay to win when pe people leave. Uh, and then milk the whales. And then the game dies. Okay. That's my prediction. But I hope my, my positive prediction is they, they're actually going to listen but uh, not high hopes, okay? But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. We guys be checking out Blade and Soul, a Neo Classic. And can they like make the name a little bit shorter? Because when they have some long name, the it covers all the YouTube title, you know? So, hey, make it like a short, maybe like NC, hey, NC Soft, Neo Classic, Conspiracy Theories. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Check out this video right here and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.